It was an impressive sight in Windsor this afternoon as Marine One, the helicopter carrying the President of the United States, landed against a backdrop of blue skies and green lawns. But then for Joe Biden, this must have all looked pretty spectacular as well. He and the First Lady greeted the Queen in the quadrangle, and this weekend, Mr. Biden has become US President number 13 to meet her. After standing for the US national anthem, the President inspected the Guard of Honor. He later said the whole White House could fit on this lawn. Back at the podium, one head of state offered another some assistance with the steps, but it was politely declined. And when formalities concluded outside, the trio went inside for tea. No person in the world can say they have met 13 US presidents. That's every single one during the Queen's reign, apart from Lyndon B. Johnson. And most people here today will say that the visit by President Biden was much more straightforward than the one that came before. In the same quadrangle in 2018, there was that awkward moment with Donald Trump. But this Queen has seen presidents of all kinds. This was Richard Nixon in 1970, JFK in 1961, and the first American president she met as Queen was Dwight D. Eisenhower, who had commanded Allied forces in World War II. Today gifted this president another photograph with which to remember his visit. And Mr Biden spoke at Heathrow tonight about who the Queen reminded him of. Uh, I, I don't think she'd be in Sullivan. You bet my mother. She reminded me of my mother. In by. terms of the, the look of her and, the, you know, just the generosity. And then it was on to Air Force One. Next stop, Brussels. But for the Bidens, the UK visit, done. Chris Ship, ITV News.